Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Hairbrain Games. Today we're going to do an unboxing of Undaunted 2200 Callisto. Not Calypso, although I wouldn't mind an Undaunted in a in a pirate ven in a venue. Arg, undaunted. Arg. Anyway, uh, from David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin, although note that this time we have a solo mode built in by David Digby and David Turcy. There's a lot of Davids in this world. Against some, I have not yet been tested. All right. So, let's take a look at what comes in. Actually, let's look at it first. This is the first entry that doesn't follow a historical setting. And so you've got this new uh, whole lore and situation. This box is heavy. Jovian, not to be confused with the Jovial Moon Base. Jovian Moon Base. Tensions have arisen between the conglomerate of Earth's leading corporations that funded the base and the mining collective tasked with operating it. Process of erupted lobby. Strikes have been called. Ah, that's kind of ironic given that I live next to Boeing and they're striking right now. Maybe I should take this to the picket line and let them have something to do while they await a new contract. Hopefully without delay. Alright, what do we have? We have a full sheet of tokens with various names. A disruptor, scanner, blaster, ripper, merc. Alright, stalker. Stalker. All right. And we have tokens, which I assume have great depth and meaning for me when I understand it. Then we have what appear to be Max, Vulcan, Artemis, Lyssa, Centurion, and Hades. And more of those tokens. Look at that. For solo use only. Hey, there's only six. Where's the other 20 letters? Anyway. So we have that. Then we have something. We have a break, a departure from previous games. We don't have the hexes and the tiles and the squares anymore. We have full-fledged, hand-drawn, pre-constructed maps. Maps that exist already. Maps that actually, when they're not upside down, are less, le less likely to be illegible. But they're double-sided, so uh, I'm excited about that. And then we have, look at that, we have locations, we have... This is new. There's a lot new here. And just even having this already preset, pre-constructed map is a new and phenomenal approach. And not only that, this doesn't just a couple maps. There's actually quite a few. There's more maps here. I'm not going to spoil it all. Looks like a map of an inside situation here. All right. And then we have more maps and then we get to the meat of it we have our standard deck of cards you're going to look these are going to look familiar bolster command gee where have i seen that before and then you've got gunner attack suppress attack suppress help help i'm being suppressed all right we have our nail gunner move attack suppress Isn't that? look at that and then our supervisor, all right, he bolsters, he commands, and other things. And then we have dice, it looks like we, interesting. We have more than, we have quite a variety of dice this time, in three different colors. And these, ah, these must be for the max to have standy, standees and I wonder what those go to. What are the circle things? I guess we'll find out when we open the box. Then we have the rule book. The rule book is, thank you for not making it the size of a pizza box so that I can actually have it on the table and be able to use it. Nicely colored illustrations. Everything you need to know. Looks kind of familiar, except I see some, ooh, I see some differences. This seems quite to be the largest of the departures so far that I have seen. Wow. I'm excited for this. And then we have the scenario book, which I'm not going to get into because I don't want to give away the scenario. So I'm going to do a super secret flip on the first page. Surprise! The fight for Callisto. This is not the rule book. This is just a tribute. All right. And then we have the solo the solo rule book. Now this is I got to I got to give some props here. This this looks like a novel. It is Look at this thick book here. What does it do? A game by David Thompson. And so it's got solo specific terminology. Wow. Wow. Okay. So there's quite, this is quite a sophisticated appearing solo AI. It looks like it's got some, some 
substantial meat to the solo mode. That's one of the things in the previous mode until reinforcements came along. And then uh, we didn't have that in the follow-up, the Stalingrad or the Battle of Britain. But this looks to be one of the mightiest solo modes I have yet seen in an Undaunted series. And reinforcements was no slouch. And look, we got these little things. Will I keep them? I don't know. I never usually keep trays. But all of, it is nice to have them in the detente. And this is surprisingly light on actual uh, units. Like you're not gonna, it looks like a lot of the meat of this is in the card play, and there isn't a lot of, of uh, your usual you know, 30 counter trays or whatever. So it looks like there's just a, a generally smaller amount of components involved. So more deck and map play with smaller components. Count me in. So there you go. That's Undaunted 2200 Callisto. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Hairbrain Games.